With the single model view done, it's time to create the collection view. The collection view syntax will be similar to the model view syntax, although the property definitions will be different, as will the render functionality. We'll also be creating a custom function instead of using one that comes with Backbone. So let's go back to snippets.txt. And I'm going to highlight and copy lines 75 through 84, copy those, and go back to allflowersview.js and paste them at the top. Again, my code gets namespaced on line two, and on line four, I'm creating a variable called app.flowersView and using it to create a brand new view with backbone.view.extend. I want to define a tag name for this, so back to snippets.txt, scroll down a little bit, copy the code that's on line 90, highlight it and copy it, back to off flowers view, and I'm going to paste this code inside of my off flowers object. There we go. So the collection needs a web page element assigned to it. This collection element will eventually contain all the tags I've defined in my model view, which are article tags. So sticking with HTML5's rules, I'll set my collection tag XT, scroll down a little bit, highlight and copy lines 97 through 100, and go back to snippet.txt, and I'm going to paste them in directly below the tag name, and save that. Movie. This dot collection is chained to a method called each, which is available to all backbone collections. What each is doing is looking at the items inside my collection and performing a task. That task is defined inside these parentheses here. The task in question is add flower. This is a custom function that I'll create shortly. Now I need to tell the each method that add flower is part of this view, and I've done this by putting the JavaScript this keyword before add flower on line 10. And as a second parameter, I've added the this keyword to give context for all this code, which I have to do sometimes with JavaScript, and this is one of those times. If I don't do this, the add flower method I'm about to create won't work. And as I did in the last movie, I've added a return this statement on line 11 to make sure that I can safely chain this render method with other methods. Now I have to create my custom add flower method that I just discussed. So it's back to snippets.txt. Scroll down a bit, highlight, copy them. Go back to all flowers view.js. And I'm going to paste them directly below the render method. The model and collection views need to communicate with each other. Add flower is going to be very helpful in this case by doing the following. On line 14, the render method is applying the add flower method to every model instance in my collection. It does this by accepting a parameter called add flower. Then on line 14 again, it's creating a new instance of my model view with a variable name called flower view.
We'll get that done in the next movie.